Hi students, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss some topics from magnetism. Okay, are you ready? Some important definitions connected with the magnetism. Magnetic field. The space around a magnet within which its influence can be experienced is called a magnetic field. The space around a magnet within which its influence can be experienced is called its magnetic field. And a magnetic field is called the influence experience in the space in the magnetic field. Uniform magnetic field. A magnetic field in a region is said to be uniform if it has same magnitude and direction at all points of that region. And the magnetic field is said to be uniform if it has same magnitude and direction. Magnitude and direction same at all points of that region. Okay, that is known as uniform magnetic field. A uniform magnetic field acting in the plane of the paper is represented by equidistant parallel lines. This is the representation of unit magnetic field. That is equidistant parallel lines. This is the representation of uniform magnetic field acting perpendicular to the paper and directed outwards. Okay, this is a uniform magnetic field acting perpendicular to the plane of the paper and directed inwards. That is represented by crosses directed inwards. Okay. The next magnetic poles. These are the regions of apparently concentrated magnetic strength in a magnet where the magnetic attraction is maximum. Poles that we know that is the maximum strength. The, uh, maximum strength is concentrated at the poles of a magnet where the maximum attraction. Attraction is also maximum there. Okay, then magnetic axis. The line passing through the poles of a magnet is called magnetic axis of the magnet. Line passing through the poles of a magnet. Line passing through the poles of a magnet that is known as magnetic axis. Magnetic equator. The line passing through the center of the magnet and right angles the magnetic axis is called a magnetic equator of the magnetic. This is known as the equator of the. Okay. The line passing the center of the magnet right angles the magnetic axis is called a magnetic equator of the magnet. Then magnetic length. Magnetic length is, is the distance between the two poles of a magnet is called a magnetic length of the magnet. The distance from the sen, uh, the distance between the two poles of a magnet that is called a magnetic length. This is known as geometric length. Two poles the middle distance that is known as magnetic length and even the middle distance that is geometric length. Okay, magnetic length and geometric length. Magnetic length means that is the distance between the two poles of a magnet. Two poles, the north and south pole. E distance in the magnetic length. E distance in the geometric length. Magnetic length divided by geometric length is equal to 0.84. Okay. The next one, Coulomb's law in magnetic force, Coulomb's law of magnetic force. This law states that the force of attraction or repulsion between two magnetic poles is directly proportional to the product of their pole strength and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Okay, Coulomb's law of electric force, we the same other than the terms in the pole strength. The law states that the force of attraction and repulsion between two magnetic poles is directly proportional to the product of their pole strength and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Qm1 and Qm2 are the pole strength of two magnetic poles which are at a distance of R. Then the pole force between them is given by F is directly proportional to Qm1 and M2 divided by if Qm1 and Qm2 are the pole strength of two magnetic poles which are at a distance R apart, then the force between them is given by F is directly proportional to Qm1 Qm2 divided by R square. F is equal to K into Qm1 Qm2 divided by R square. K is a proportionality constant which depends on the nature of the medium as well as on the system of units chosen. For SI units, F is equal to mu0 divided by 4 pi into Qm1 Qm2 divided by R square. Okay, then mu0 is the permeability of free space and is equal to 4 pi into 10 raise to minus 7 Henry per meter. Okay, then next term, magnetic dipole. The arrangement of two equal and opposite magnetic poles separated by a small distance is called a magnetic dipole. 
then magnetic dipole moment a magnetic dipole moment of a magnetic dipole is defined as the product of its small strength and magnetic field it is a vector quantity directed from south pole to north pole okay magnetic dipole moment that is the product of pole strength qm and magnetic length 2l it is a vector quantity it is directed from south pole to north pole south pole to north pole okay then its unit is ampere meter square or joule per tesla ampere meter square or joule per tesla okay magnetic line of force magnetic line of force may be defined as the curve the tangent to which at any point gives the direction of the magnetic field at that point it may also be defined as the path along which a unit north pole would tend to move if free to do so okay tangent aayirikkum direction kaanikkunnathu adu pole thane path along which unit north pole would tend to move if free to do so namukku ariya magnetic line of force engane kandupidikkane ennakku nammal padichittundu appo nammal or magnetinte north pole inde avade nammal or compass needle vekkumbol compass needle inde north pole move cheyina aa direction okay the path along which a unit north pole would tend to move if free to do so then properties of line of force a magnetic line of force a closed curve with the start in air from north pole and at the south pole and then return to the north pole through the interior of the magnet okay from the north pole and at end at the south pole and then return to the north pole through the interior of the magnet the line of force never cross each other if they do so that would mean that there are two directions of the magnetic field at that point of intersection which is impossible line of force never cross each other namakariyam cross cheyadal two directions kaanikkendi varu they start from and end on the surface of the magnet normally okay the line of force have a tendency to contract lengthways and expand sideways this explains attraction between the unlike poles and repulsion between the like poles okay നമ്മൾ ഫസ്റ്റ് ചാപ്റ്റർ പഠിച്ചതുപോലെയൊക്കെ തന്നെയാണ് ഇവിടെ മാഗ്നറ്റിക് ഫീൽഡ് ആണെന്ന് മാത്രമേ ഉള്ളൂ അവിടെ ഇലക്ട്രിക് ലൈൻ ഓഫ് ഫോഴ്സും ഇവിടെ മാഗ്നറ്റിക് ലൈൻ ഓഫ് ഫോഴ്സും ആണ് ഇത് റിലേറ്റീവ് ക്ലോസ്നെസ് ഓഫ് ദി ലൈൻ ഓഫ് ഫോഴ്സ് ഗീവ്സ് ദ മെഷർ ഓഫ് ദി സ്ട്രെങ്ത് ഓഫ് ദി മാഗ്നറ്റിക് ഫീൽഡ് വിച്ച് ഇസ് മാക്സിമം അറ്റ് ദ പോൾസ് ഓക്കെ ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് മാഗ്നറ്റിക് ഫീൽഡ് ഓഫ് എ ബാർ മാഗ്നറ്റ് അറ്റ് എൻ ആക്സിയൽ പോയിൻ്റ് നമ്മൾ ഇലക്ട്രിക് ഫീൽഡ് അറ്റ് എൻ ആക്സിയൽ പോയിൻ്റ് ഓഫ് എ ഡൈപ്പോൾ പഠിച്ചതുപോലെ തന്നെ വേറെ ഒരു വ്യത്യാസവും ഇല്ല അതുകൊണ്ട് ജസ്റ്റ് പെട്ടെന്ന് ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞു തീർക്കാം കാരണം അത് നിങ്ങൾക്കത് അറിയാവുന്നതാണ് ജസ്റ്റ് കമ്പയർ ചെയ്ത് പഠിച്ചാൽ മാത്രം മതി ഓക്കെ മാഗ്നറ്റിക് ഫീൽഡ് ഓഫ് എ ബാർ മാഗ്നറ്റ് എൻ ആക്സിയൽ പോയിൻ്റ് ഓക്കെ ആക്സിയൽ പോയിൻറ്റ് നമുക്കറിയാം എൻ എസ് ബി എ ബാർ മാഗ്നറ്റ് ഓഫ് ലെന്ത് ടു എൽ ആൻഡ് പോൾ സ്ട്രെന്ത് ക്യൂ എം സപ്പോസ് ദി മാഗ്നറ്റിക് ഫീൽഡ് ഈസ് ടു ബി ഡിറ്റർമിനൻ്റ് അറ്റ് എ പോയിൻറ്റ് പി വിച്ച് ലൈസ് ഓൺ ദ ആക്സിസ് ഓഫ് ദി മാഗ്നറ്റ് ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് ആർ ഫ്രം ഇറ്റ് സെൻ്റർ ദിസ് ഇസ് ദ സെൻ്റർ ഓഫ് ദി മാഗ്നറ്റ് ഇവിടെ നിന്ന് ആ ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് ഒരു പോയിൻ്റാണ് പി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് Imagine a unit north pole placed at the point P, then from Coulomb's law of magnetic force, the force exerted by north pole of a strength QM on unit north pole will be. Then we have to measure the distance from N to P. Okay, then Fn is equal to mu0 divided by 4 pi into QM divided by R to P, that is O to P, that is R. Then we should subtract this one. then we will get r minus l the whole square along the direction of np okay north pole north pole repulsion so we can indicate the direction in the direction of np okay then similarly the force exerted by south pole on a unit north pole is south pole from here to there so mu0 divided by 4 pi qm divided by from center to p that we know r then from here to there that is ls so r plus l the whole square along ps because south pole and north pole attraction therefore the strength of the magnetic field b at the point p is b axis is equal to force experienced by unit to north pole minus pole at the at point p fn minus fs that is mu0 qm divided by 4 pi into 1 by r minus l the whole square minus 1 by r plus l the whole square so mu0 qm divided by 4 pi into cross cheyuga ഓക്കെ ഇന്ന് നമ്മൾ ഫസ്റ്റ് ചാപ്റ്റർ പഠിച്ചതുപോലെ തന്നെയാണ് പിന്നെ ജസ്റ്റ് ഞാനൊന്ന് കാണിച്ചതിന് വൺ ബൈ ആർ മൈനസ് എൽ ദ ഹോൾ സ്ക്വയർ മൈനസ് വൺ ബൈ ആർ പ്ലസ് എൽ ദ ഹോൾ സ്ക്വയർ സോ വി ഷുഡ് ടേക്ക് ദ എൽ സി എം ഹിയർ ആർ മൈനസ് എൽ ദ ഹോൾ സ്ക്വയർ ഇൻഡ് ആർ പ്ലസ് എൽ ദ ഹോൾ സ്ക്വയർ ദെൻ ആർ പ്ലസ് എൽ ദ ഹോൾ സ്ക്വയർ മൈനസ് ആർ മൈനസ് എൽ ദ ഹോൾ സ്ക്വയർ ദെൻ വി വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് ഹി ആർ സ്ക്വയർ
2L R plus L square minus R square plus 2RL minus L square bracket open chain the then the R minus L into R plus L means R square minus L square the whole square then we should cancel this minus R square and plus R square and plus L square and minus L square we will get 4 L R divided by R square minus L square the whole square okay I'm allowed to participate the then next uh, what is the 2L into QM means that is M that is the magnetic dipole moment so B actually is equal to mu 0 divided by 4 pi into instead of 4 RL we can write here 2 into 2LQM so we can write here 2M into R that is 4 pi into R square minus L square the whole square okay for a short dipole moment L is very very less than R therefore we have B actually is equal to mu 0 divided by 4 pi into 2m uh, l is very very less than r so we can neglect this l square then we will get r raised to 4 r raised to 4 in dr we can cancel so we will get r cube along nb the magnetic field at any axial point of the magnetic dipole is same in the direction as that of the magnetic dipole moment from south pole to north pole so we can write b axial is equal to mu 0 divided by 4 pi into 2 m vector divided by r cube the vector representation on same same number electric field but it's the ball then electric field and an axial point of dipole but it's the ball then they are not ah it's a degree with the answer to the mother and the one other but it's the one in the pet and the good to the call point will in a magnetic field of bar magnet at an equatorial point same other than a are yellow consider bar magnet ns of length the 2l learner and a pole strength the QM suppose the magnetic field is to be determined at a point P lying on the equatorial line of the magnetic field NS at a distance R from the center same out of parangola then imagine a unit north pole placed at the point P then by Coulomb's law force the force exerted by the north pole of the magnet on unit north pole FN is in mu z divided by 4 pi into QM divided by distance X X square here also same mu 0 QM divided by 4 pi into X square along PS <coughs> then an extra along NP direction on the Karnam either North Pole NP direction outward direction either South Pole and North Pole so it is attractive in nature along PS direction next as the magnetic field Fn and Fs are equal so their vertical components get cancelled while the horizontal components adds up we will learn how to learn it results into two components. Okay. Either. Okay. Ibada either P and the Barana point. P is attractive in nature. So it results into two components. This is vertical component and this is horizontal component. Either on a vertical component in the bar another, either horizontal component diarium, albole. This is the P and Nana. This is the same as the result in two components. This is its horizontal component, the vertical component, and this is its horizontal component. So, vertical component, vertical components in the world get cancelled while the horizontal component add up. Okay, along the direction PR. Okay, so, this is the attractive in nature and direction. In it results into two components this is horizontal component and this is the vertical component otherwise it results into two component this is horizontal component and this is vertical component here e vertical component cancel out upon pin a horizontal component and over another along the direction p r other p r along the direction p r so we add the horizontal component number first you have to put it to the ball then you know with your son nula okay then Next, hence the magnetic field at the equatorial point P, P equatorial is net to force on the unit north pole placed at the point that is Fn cos theta plus Fs cos theta then 2 Fn cos theta. We know Fn and Fs are equal so we can write 2 Fn cos theta. 2 into Fn means mu 0 divided by 4 pi into QM divided by x square. We will learn this. In a cos theta is equal to cos theta we know that is cos theta is equal to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse on that is l by x on the number of it's on l by x other ball the same conditions then you know what I could take another l by x so mu 0 divided by 4 pi into qm l divided by x square into 
2 into mu 0 divided by 4 pi into qm divided by x square into cos theta l by x. So, b equal to equal to mu 0 divided by 4 pi into 2 qm. 2 qm into l. 2 qm into l means that is m. Ana. So, instead of this 2 qm l, we can write here magnetic post on the m divided by 4 pi into x square means that we know r square plus l square the whole raised to 3 by 2. x square means that is r square plus l square the whole raised to 3 by 2. And this is our x square. x square is equal to r square plus l square. Now x is equal to root of r square plus l square. That instead of this root we can write here raised to 1 by 2. So r square plus l square the whole raised to 1 by 2. Then cube is equal to 3 by 2. We are going to study this. Okay. Again, for a short dipole, R is very very greater than L. So, we, should can, we can neglect this L square. So, R square the whole raised to 3 by 2. 2 and 2 we can cancel. Then R cube. Mu is divided by 4 pi into M divided by R cube along PR. Clearly, the magnetic field at any equatorial point of a magnetic dipole is in the direction opposite to that of its magnetic dipole moment. Magnetic dipole moment in the opposite direction. That is from north pole to south pole so we can write b equal to mu minus mu 0 m divided by 4 pi r cube vector vector representation anu. okay okay guys study up to the remaining topic we will take in the next class okay bye